so job opportunities very importantly so in Toronto you tend to find mostly white collar jobs um, hey guys you're welcome to my youtube channel it's so awesome to have you guys here once again if you're new you're beautifully welcome to this channel please take some time to hit the subscribe button down below and turn the post notification bell on so you can get notifications each time i post a new video and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for joining my channel yet again you know the vibes give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy watching it and leave a comment down below as well so in today's video as you can see in the subject down below we will be doing a compound of three different cities in Ontario Canada and based on 10 different factors so I'll be comparing Brampton Mississauga and Toronto I've lived in these three cities and I'll be doing a comparison for you guys I'll be comparing based on car insurance cost of living groceries nightlife and all that fun stuff also if you stick to the very end of this video I will tell you my most preferred city of these three cities. Um, I stayed in Mississauga when I just got into Canada. I stayed here there for about a month. I stayed in Brampton for about five months. I'm still pretty much new in Toronto. I've stayed here for only about two months. So let's jump right into the video. So first things first, I would start with cost of housing because housing is very, very important anywhere you decide to live. Um, comparing Brampton, Mississauga and Toronto, Brampton is pretty much cheap, not like very extremely cheap, but it's very very reasonable and this is due to the fact that some of the houses are new and also um, Brampton there are opportunities to have like a roommate, not like um, you guys having separate rooms, but I mean like the same room, some people do it in Brampton, they stay in the same room, maybe friends or family or people of the same tribe or something, they stay in the same room so they get to spend lesser on their house rent. Um, Brampton is pretty much cheap. Mississauga is somewhere in the Middle East. It's not cheap. It's relative. It's relative depending on your ability to find something very cheap or very reasonable. Toronto on the other side is on the high side. It's like high end. It's quite expensive staying in Toronto, especially if you're going to live like in core Toronto downtown. It's pretty much expensive down there. In Brampton, we have very few high-rise buildings. We have mostly houses and townhouse and townhouses. Um, in Mississauga, there are quite a good number of high-rise buildings and in Toronto, that's it. Lots of high-rise buildings in um, Toronto. How do you talk about housing and not move to transportation? Transportation is actually very, very important in the city you choose to live. If you choose to live in Toronto, be rest assured that you'll be experiencing one of the greatest transportation system in the whole of Canada. I mean public transport system in this case. Um, Toronto has TTC and it has like the subway, the buses, the streetcars, like several kind of transit system and they have like very very reliable transportation. Uh, the buses come really quickly. I think the like wait time is less than 5 to 10 minutes. In one row you could see about 3 to 4 TTC buses going at the same time and they are going on the same route. There are several routes for you to apply. If you choose to go to one destination, you would have like 3 or 4 options on how to get to that same place and depending on your interest or how you want to um, direct yourself down there. So transportation system in Toronto is actually very 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 good. Um, talk. Talking about Mississauga, Mississauga is also somewhere in the middle here. The, there are not that much buses. Um, Mississauga uses my way transit system. There's a my way express and my way on the regular road. Uh, Mississauga buses comes about between 15 to 20 minutes wait time, which is not too bad. But you know, when you're in haste and you have to be somewhere in a hurry, that's not too good as well. But for Brampton, Brampton transportation is. Um, not so great but i'll still say brampton transportation is better than mississauga in my opinion this is because um, brampton has more population and they tend to push out more buses out there um and you tend to take like standing in the bus because it's mostly always filled i like the zoom stations though the zoom buses i think there are just three routes for the zoom buses and i like the fact that at the bus stop you can like see the time for the next bus you can also see like um how long you need to wait there's like a heater in the bus stop when it's like freezing outside especially during winter when you've been needing some warmth so and um, i think that's quite nice for brampton and i also like the fact that the zoom station has the names boldly written on it just in case if you're a newbie and you're not particularly sure of where you're supposed to drop you can easily see the name of the stop right at the bus stop which is quite good 
for transportation you tend to find more and more traffic in toronto especially by 4 p.m or 8 a.m oh my god you don't want to be caught downtown toronto it's crazy like the people traffic the transport traffic everything is just insane in toronto when it comes to like peak period but in Bram in Brampton as well, there is traffic in Brampton as well, but it's not that crazy. It's crazy. It's like there are there's like traffic that can be annoying sometimes in Brampton. But it's still very much better compared to Toronto. Mississauga does not have that much traffic. Like all through my stay in Mississauga, I never really experienced a traffic that I'm like, oh my god, I want to jump out of the window. Now let's move to insurance. Insurance, insurance. If you're driving, you definitely need to buy car insurance for your car. And Talking about insurance, it's no longer in news. Brampton has one of the most expensive insurance in Canada. It's just a whole different level on its own. Mississauga has something very, very moderate, very reasonable, not too expensive. But I think Mississauga's car insurance is still very much cheaper compared to some other cities in um, Ontario. But for Toronto, it's quite high, but not too high because um, People don't tend to drive a lot in Toronto, but it's still somewhere in the middle. But for Brampton, 100% is so expensive. So for parking, say for parking, if you need to park your car and you are driving outside, in Toronto, you most likely get a parking ticket if you park in the wrong spot or you don't pay for your parking permit. This is more precise to those staying downtown Toronto. If you want to park, you have to park in the right place. Uh, for for Mississauga and Brampton, provided you park in the right place, you would most likely not get a ticket. So you have to be sure that you are parking in a place that is allowed for you to park, then you will not get a ticket. But in Toronto, you most likely would want to buy a parking permit. How do you talk about housing and all of that without food? Groceries, groceries, groceries. Groceries is actually also very, very important in your daily life. You want to eat, you want to know how much it costs to um, find something good to eat. Um, for me, I would say for groceries and dining out, Brampton has more of Indian cuisines and um, Indian stores for you to buy your Indian groceries or all those kind of stuff. Um, talk about Mississauga. Mississauga has like um, the Chinese store. Um, Mississauga has, Brampton also has the Chinese store that has Ocean, which I like to shop from. I like to buy my groceries from those stores because it's quite cheap. But in Toronto, you tend to get like mostly Afro-Caribbean stores, Caribbean, African stores, you find lots of all of that. And as a black person, an African to be precise, it's very important for me to get my spices, you know what I mean. In all three cities, I think there is a fair dispersion of um, like Walmart, um, Freshco and all of that, those kind of stores that you tend to, like the general kind of store. So let's talk about ethnicity, very, very important. So brown thing has... Um, about 30% of Indians, you can read that up on the internet, you would see that the population of Brampton has about 30% of East Indians in it. And for Mississauga, Mississauga has fairly um, equal amount of Asian people in Mississauga. We have lots of Chinese, Vietnamese, Filipinos, Indians and all of that. We have lots of Asians in general in Mississauga. While for Toronto, Toronto is quite diverse and it's versatile. You have like people from different races, different color, different tribe and all of that in Toronto. So Toronto is very, very diverse. So talking about real estate, um, you want to stay here. You definitely plan to buy your own house sometimes later in the future. Of course, real estate depends on the kind of housing you're buying. If you're buying um, a condo, if you're buying a townhouse, if you're buying a semi-detached apartment, any one of these real estate you choose to eventually buy, um, some lo location is also a determinant in the pricing. But for me, I would say housing or real estate in Brampton is still very much on the low side compared to Mississauga. Mississauga is very expensive and Toronto as well. Toronto is the most expensive, like freaking expensive in the whole of Ontario. Real estate downtown Toronto or old Toronto, anywhere around Toronto is very very expensive. Mississauga is not cheap either but you would find something that you can afford. Not everybody can afford it obviously but Brampton new houses so it's quite cheap or very reasonable job opportunities very importantly so in toronto you tend to find mostly white collar jobs um accounting banking tech industry those kind of industry you find more opportunities or jobs in toronto while for mississauga tends to be more like production that kind of stuff manufacturing and in brampton you also find manufacturing industries in brampton but you also tend to find most like 
a good number of unskilled labor um blue collar jobs and all of that in Brampton. that's that for job opportunities then let's talk about crime rates and orderliness in the city um for toronto because of the population the population equals high violence or high rate of violence there is very high rate of crime in toronto like i've seen where someone was selling weed in real life in toronto like hand in hand and that's like illegal it's not allowed weed is allowed but you're not supposed to like sell it without licenses and all of that stuff so in toronto it's like high rate of risk you see you tend to see like shooting violences and all of that in toronto a lot more so there is high rate of crime in toronto then brampton has the next high rate of crime you see you tend to see like rough driving in brampton accidents you tend to see like robberies i've like had two friends that told me they were like robbed in real life during the day no i think it was one of them was in the night they were robbed at gunpoint so you see, there's also high rate of crime in Brampton, but not as compared to Toronto. Then for Mississauga, I don't really think Mississauga has been in the news for like crime or violence that much. But you can rule out the fact that when you have like population or more people of different backgrounds in a city, law and orderliness tends to be thrown under the bus. So for Mississauga, it's not that great, but it's still very, very much peaceful down there. The last but not the least, you know the vibe, nightlife. Nightlife is very, very important for someone like me coming from my background. It's very important for us to flex, to chill and have fun and cruise. Um, for nightlife, importantly, you want to find yourself in Toronto. If you want to enjoy yourself, get your friends. You guys drive down to Toronto in the night. On a Friday night, it's very much chill down there. If you want to have some fun, I think you would most likely want to go downtown Toronto. It's so much fun down there. Brampton has the second rated nightlife between these three cities. Night Brampton is too much fun. You find like this Punjabi clubs, the cuisines, the um, pubs and the hookah. You know, they like to do this hookah stuff. You find like clubs like that or hangouts or like get together where you can do those kind of stuff. Mississauga is quite boring. It's like this vanilla kind of chilled life, no stress, but it's still fun. But you just have to define your own level of fun. Maybe your friends, you guys do like house parties and all that kind of stuff. But there is like some club in square one. Nightlife in Mississauga is not that great compared to the other two cities. For me, to the best of my interest, I would say if every other thing were equal, like every other thing is constant proximity to work, cost of living and everything, I would say I like my life in Mississauga the most. Um, this is because it's like quite chilled. Everything is just calm, the transit, the roads. People drive like sane people. It's still pretty much decent in Mississauga compared to like the other two cities. I still like Mississauga the most. So if every other thing remained constant, I would choose to live in Mississauga. But as of now, I'm in Toronto. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys have learned something new. I hope I've put out some point for you to consider when you want to choose which of the cities to move to. If you enjoy watching this video or you learned something new, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to share with your friends. And if you're yet to subscribe or you're watching, what are you waiting for, bro? Hit the subscribe button down below and be sure to turn the post notification bell on as well so you can get notifications every time I post a new video. Don't forget to check me out on social media at Wiz underscore Queen on Instagram and on Twitter and Wiz Queen B on Facebook and Snapchat Wiz Queen. That'll be it guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay confident. Bye-bye.